Nemso Indian Defense, Hubner, Rubenstein Variation, 5, CXD46.X4D5. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. Opening with the Queen's Pawn. The Indian game begins by controlling the important e4 square with the knight, rather than a pawn. By taking control of the crucial d5 square and creating a space on which the knight can move to c3 without obstructing the c-pawn, move c4 helps to create a strong center. The move e6 creates a line for the dark squared bishop, sets up a rapid castle, and prepares to push a pawn to d5 and recover the piece if it is taken. And c3 develops the knight to fight for the e4 square and to control d5. In the Nimso Indian defense, bb4 pins the knight on c3 and threatens to trade, disturbing white's pawns after bx c3 and preventing it from moving or defending e4. e3 supports the d4 pawn and allows the light squared bishop and queen to develop. c5 attacks the d4 pawn, defends the bishop on b4 and prepares to develop the knight to c6 behind the c pawn. Ne2 develops the knight to where it can recapture on c3 and avoid doubled pawns, but at the cost of blocking in the light squared bishop. Cxd4 captures the d4 pawn and attacks the knight on c3 and the pawn on e3. x4 recaptures the pawn and controls the e5 and c5 squares. As it moves into the center, d5 engages the c4 pawn in combat. This moves the pawn to safety. This develops a bishop off its starting square, getting it into the action. This threatens to reveal an attack on a bishop. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This stops the opponent from being able to reveal an attack on a bishop. Takes back. This threatens to kick a bishop. The opposing bishop is kicked by a pawn, and must now move or be captured. This is the only move that works. It is a fair deal after all captures. Recaptures. Games Master. It is the final book action. By growing a bishop from its initial square, this activates it. That's good. There was only one good move there. This misses an opportunity to develop a bishop off its starting square. It is a mistake. This misses a fantastic but elusive move. There was only one move that was effective, and this wasn't it. It falls flat. Backs off. It is ideal. This defends the attacked pawn. It is best. This defends a piece that is being attacked but is not well defended. It is ideal. Now that the rooks can see one another, they can defend one another. It is ideal. Castling develops a rook, while also moving the king to safety. Castling to the same side of the board as the opponent tends to lead to less sharp positions as compared with opposite side castling. It is best. A powerful play. It is quite good. This requires an open file, a typical technique for rook activation. It is ideal. A rook enters the action after developing outside of its starting square as a result. It is ideal. There was only one good move in that position. It is a mistake. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. That's good. The rook is now in a safe position. It is ideal. While not a mistake, that is also not the wisest course of action. That's good. The rooks are linked by this, making it easier for them to work together in the future. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. Not the finest, this. It is incorrect. This is not the best approach. It is incorrect. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. This poses a fork piece threat. It is quite good. This prevents the adversary from forking pieces. That's good. By moving a rook from its starting square, this activates it. That's good. 
This poses a risk of winning a pawn. It is quite good. That's a decent move. That's good. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Very precise. It is best. This mobilizes the knight, allowing it to control more of the board. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. The game was almost evenly matched, but black is now worse. It is incorrect. This misses a chance to make a pun winning threat. That falls flat. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. This requires an outpost, a square that is currently in play where a pawn cannot push the knight off. It is ideal. This is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is a great move. Recaptures. It is ideal. This strikes the rival queen. It is ideal. This maintains the balance in material with a good trade. This is the only move that works. It is a great move. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. This confines the opponent's king while also moving a rook to the seventh rank, activating it. It is ideal. This ignores an opportunity to offer an equal trade of pieces. This permits the opponent to capture the checking pawn. It is an inaccuracy. This ignores a more effective technique to reclaim a piece. It is incorrect. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. On the file, the rooks are strategically doubled and forcefully combined. It is ideal. The pawn is now suitably protected. It is ideal. This suggests exchanging items of equivalent value. That's good. After all captures, this is an equal trade. This is the only good move. It is best. This exchange is fair. Black is equal at this point in the endgame. It is ideal. This keeps the material balance in check with good commerce. It is ideal. The best choice is this one. It is ideal. It is a fair deal after all captures. It is quite good. Recaptures. It is ideal. A wise decision. It is quite good. Perfectly on point. It is ideal. A pawn that was being attacked and had no defenses is now protected by this. It is ideal. In the end game, an active king is essential, and removing it from the rear rank is the first step. It is quite good. That is a logical response. It is quite good. What I would have advised is that. It is ideal. Very precise. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. This is the strongest option. It is best. Giveaway one player was winning, but then gave it away. That game was pretty competitive. Both players had an amazing opening. That was an incredible middle game by both players. Both players had incredible precision in the end game. 